September 17th. The Royal Triumph. Behold thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass. And the multitudes cried, saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Matthew 21 5-9 The King of Glory approached the holy city, seated not on the richly draped war horse, or followed by a glittering band of soldiers, but riding on a lowly ass, and attended by a vast crowd of rustic pilgrims. He was welcomed, not by the governor Pilate, or Caiaphas the high priest, but by the children, the poorer folk, the blind and the lame whom he had healed. His lodging place was the bare ground on the Mount of Olives, and on one occasion, at least, he was hungry enough to seek fruit from the fig leaf. Yet there was a mystic power about him before which the rabble, that filled the courts of the temple with noise and filth, were driven forth, and which the chief priests and scribes had to acknowledge when they challenged him as to his authority. His authority was that of truth and purity and God. It was a stray beam of his intrinsic majesty. One who knew him intimately said, We beheld his glory, as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Soul of man, to thee, also, thy king cometh. Let the gates of thy heart lift up their portals and admit him. At first you may dread the revolution which his coming suggests, but be quick to give to Emmanuel, the prince, all the keys of man's soul. Enthrone him in thine heart. He is the king and heir, and he will make thee a joint heir with himself. Let the kingdom of your life become the kingdom of God and of his Christ. Let every thought be brought into subjection to him. But if, on the other hand, you are content to build the house of life apart from him, be very sure that you are rejecting the one chief cornerstone, which can alone give the necessary stability and beauty to its structure. To forfeit that will involve the absolute destruction of the edifice on which your whole life energy may have been expended. Prayer But chiefest in our cleansed breast. Eternal, bid thy spirit rest. And make our secret soul to be. A temple pure and worthy thee. Hosanna in the highest. Amen.